This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. Hello, my name is Marcus Benedict. I'm a global trainer at the Drega Academy and today I would like to show you how to test a BG Pro Air using the Questor 8000. Let me first introduce you to the Questor 8000. The Questor 8000 is a fully automatic test device which can test chemical protection suits, compressed air breathing apparatuses, dive equipment and closed circuit breathing apparatuses like the BG Pro Air. The Questor 8000 is equipped with a test head which has a gel face. The gel face simulates the softness of our skin and muscle tissue for testing full face masks. It is equipped with a low pressure sensor which measures the pressures inside of a full face mask. And the mouth opening is used to simulate inhalation and exhalation, the breathing of a breathing apparatus. What you see here is the status light. The status light shows you the situation the Questor is in during the test. White, it is ready for testing. Blue, the test has started. Green, the test is passed. And red, if it's found a fault. What you see here is our medium pressure outlet. For testing compressed air breathing apparatuses, we would connect our lung demand valve here. For testing chemical protection suits, we have the medium pressure outlet for chemical protection suits. And this is our high pressure outlet where we will connect compressed air breathing apparatuses, which would then be connected to our medium pressure inlet to measure the pressure inside of a compressed air breathing apparatus. If we would have to test compressed air breathing apparatuses, we would need high pressure supply for our Questor, which would be connected here to our mini mess connection. Today, testing the BG Pro Air, I only need medium pressure, which I supply directly from a medium pressure line. To use the Questor 8000, we need a software which is called the Protector software. So let me start that now. Since we need to track who has tested what unit and if the test was passed, I need to log in with a username and a password. The Protector software does not only drive our Questor 8000, it also incorporates a database. In this database you can inventorize and control all your breathing equipment. I have already inventorized my BG Pro Air. So by starting with a BG, it shows up that it already knows something called BG. I can now select my BG Pro Air LDV 001, press on search. And now you see down here that our test reason pops up. I'm using the test reason standard but you could actually generate your own test reasons. Test reason general overhaul, a test reason for after use testing or whatever. Via the interface, the protector software is identifying the connected test device as a Questor 8000. I've selected a manual gauge comparison and to test a breathing apparatus, I could either connect it with my test device with a breathing adapter or with a full face mask. I've selected test sequence with mask because I will now show you how to test the BG Pro Air using the FPS 7000. By pressing perform test, I will start the test. Every 24 hours or whenever you log into the software, the Questor 8000 wants to perform a zero point calibration for all his sensors. So let's allow the Questor to do just that. The Questor can perform leak tests and functional tests. But the most important test obviously is the visual inspection of the set. I have already performed that. 
and I can now press OK to lock on my test certificate that the visual inspection was passed. You now see a couple of comments and a picture how to set up the Questor 8000 to test the BG Pro Air. So first of all, you see that I need to attach a full face mask. So let me put our FPS 7000 RP to our test head. So I always start by putting the chin of the test head into the chin pocket of the mask, tightening the lower straps, the upper straps, and just carefully the top strap. The test head can actually be swiveled. I'm not moving it to the side, which allows me to put the BG Pro Air to the other side of the Questor so that it will actually be tested in the same position as a user would wear it. In the test, I will need to access the inside of the housing. So let me take off the cover of my BG Pro Air first. By opening the cover and by unhooking the hinges. Take the cap off and connect our BG Pro Air to our FPS 7000. The Quest 8000 is equipped with a microphone which can actually pick up the warning signals of our Connect ECU. So let me attach that as close to the sounder as possible. During the test we will have to look on the ECU in a few tests, so make sure that the ECU is easy accessible. Quick check. We've done what the protector software tells us, so let me press OK to carry on. Ah, wait a minute. Did I mention that we need medium pressure? So let me open my medium pressure supply. For the inhalation valve, I need to pinch the exhalation hose. For testing the exhalation valve, I need to close off the inhalation hose. It now tells me to flip our lever because we need to block the relief valve for the test of the drain valve. Make sure that the lever is actually securing the breathing bag. You see that the Questor is now increasing the pressure inside of the breathing loop and as soon as the pressure does not increase anymore, the Questor knows that the drain valve must have opened and locks that data. The next test that the Questor will now perform is our low pressure leak test. For that we need a little bit of a stabilization phase and we then very carefully drop the pressure to our desired test value of 7.5 millibars. The test has started. We do allow a little bit of expansion by warming of the air, but the important thing is that the pressure does not drop more than 1 millibar per minute. But hold on. One millibar per minute means half a millibar and half a minute. So if we're still nicely within our tolerance, we can actually stop this test after 30 seconds. The question now relieves the breathing back again to allow me to reattach the lever because in the next test we want to test the relief valve. But let me wait until the protector software tells me to do so. There we go. Now we inflate the breathing loop again until the breathing bag touches the tappet of our relief valve. 
The Questor will notice that because the pressure will not further increase. To test the no pressure warning, the no oxygen warning, we will now simulate inhalation and exhalation while having the cylinder valve closed. And the Connect ECU will now notice inhalation and exhalation and will give us the no oxygen warning. Via the microphone, the Questor has locked the data. To test the pre-flush unit of our BG Pro Air in the LDV option, the Questor is now again relieving the pressure of the breathing loop so that we can actually see the filling of the pre-flush of the system. The protector software now tells me to open the cylinder valve. And since opening the cylinder valve will activate the ECU, I can now perform the high pressure leak test. The ECU tells me to open the cylinder valve. Well, I've already done that. And it now tells me to close the cylinder valve and acknowledge by pressing the left hand button. ECU will now perform a 15 seconds high pressure leak test. Leak test passed. Let's acknowledge that. And let's tell the protector software that we've passed the high pressure leak test to put it on the test certificate. I'm now told to open the cylinder valve because we want to perform the bypass test. So let's open the cylinder valve and press OK. I press the button and the protector software noticed an increase of pressure by filling the bag. The next test is our minimum valve test. So the Questor again relieves the pressure until we get very close to the activation point of the minimum valve and will then very carefully decrease the pressure again to find the activation point of the minimum valve. You see the Questor decreasing the pressure in the breathing loop and very similar to the other valves that we tested so far, as soon as the Questor realizes that we have a stabilization of pressure, he knows that the minimum valve must have opened. Let's have a look. The best functional test that the Questor can do is actually a simulation of somebody breathing from the set. So we now perform our breathing loop. Through the breathing loop we inhale and exhale, testing the inhalation and exhalation resistance of our full system, the whole BG Pro Air with the FPS 7000. The residual pressure warning. Now, for that, I will have to close the cylinder valve, observe my ECU monitoring unit, and very carefully decrease the pressure by pressing the bypass to activate the warning, roughly around 100 bar, and the alarm, which should activate roughly around 55 bar. I've passed the test. We're almost done. So let's now disconnect our BG Pro Air from the mask and let's close the connection with our cap. And the last test that I will do here is actually the battery capacity. For that, I switch off the ECU by pressing both buttons for three seconds. The last simmer that we get is the battery capacity. Let's put the cover back onto our unit. The BG Pro Air is now ready to be used, but let's finish this test. And let's have a look at the test certificate. 
On the test certificate you will not only find who tested what unit when, but also which test device was used. But more importantly, we see our breathing curve with the maximum and minimum values. We see all the tolerances for each test value and the real tested value. And the most important thing at the end, the set is fully functional. I can now save that test protocol and or print it, but I can always access it via the protector software in the future. If you look at the screen, the protector software is now assuming that you want to test the next set. But I'm now done testing the BG Pro Air. Thank you very much for your attention. Not all products, features or services mentioned in this video are available for sale in all countries. Contact your local Draeger representative for more information. Mentioned trademarks are only registered in certain countries and not necessarily in the country in which this material is released. Go to draeger.com trademarks to find the current status.